Aloha, this is Kevin Kimball, and the purpose of this video is to help you create a pivot table report that will allow you to view the contents of a given order. Now you should already have the Excel workbook that includes the order reports data worksheet. And it looks like this. You can see it's order reports data, and this is the workbook we'll be working on. As you can see, there are multiple items ordered on a given order ID. And so what we're trying to do is create a report that can help us home in on a given order and see the items ordered on that ID. If we go back to our instructions here, we want to be able to see um, the name of the product ordered, its unit price, its quantity, and its extended price. In addition, a grand total of all extended prices for the given order. So let's go ahead and run this report. We'll go to Insert Pivot Table accept the data and we want to drag order ID onto the report filter so this is like a page so as we choose which page we want to look at so these are all the different orders we could look at let's drag down and let's say we only want to look at order 10270 so we only want to look at a given order right now and we want to see the product name of that order the unit price the quantity any discount offered on that product and we want to take the extended price and see it in the uh, in the values so this doesn't look all that nice at the moment because these are on we have these subtotals for quantity and subtotals for price and that that really doesn't add a lot of value valuable information so we're going to go over to design the design ribbon and under subtotals we'll click that and we do not want to see those subtotals so we'll choose do not show subtotals I'm going to drag this column over so you can see the full name of these. Uh, so as you can see now, it looks a little bit nicer. But if you look at the math, 15 times 30 certainly doesn't equal 456, but that's because this has been formatted in a way not to show the decimals. So I'm going to go over to unit price here. And I know this goes off the screen, but the very bottom option at the bottom is field settings. If you choose that, then this screen will come up. And you want to choose number format and choose number and maybe we want to use a thousand separator but two decimals so we can see that the math uh, will make sense so it's actually 15.2 we'll do the same thing for quantity um, on quantity we'll go over here to the right and click the drop down once again the very bottom will say field settings which brings up this option so we can choose a number format and quantity we'll choose number and um, I don't believe it makes a lot of sense that these quantities would have any decimal places, so we'll do zero. But we will use the thousand separator, and we'll choose OK. Because quantities are usually only in, in units of one, unless these are pounds or something, then it could actually be. In fact, why don't we just change that just to see if the quantities do have any uh, decimals. Um, go to number format, and we'll bump up the decimal places a couple, and choose OK. I bet these are going to be zeros. So that makes sense. Uh, so once again, I'll go back to quantity, change the field settings, and we'll move the number format back to uh, zero decimal places because that really doesn't add additional valuable information. Now the discount, uh, this is um, formatted to be a percent. We, maybe it's a 0.01% or 1.2%. And So I wanted to choose discount, and I want to choose value field settings, and I'll change the number format to be uh, make sure it's a percentage, but I want a couple decimal places just in case there is a discount there. Okay, it doesn't look like there is. And then finally on sum of extension, I'll go to value field settings, and I want this number format to be a number with a, a thousand separator and OK. So if you look at that, that makes a little more sense. So let's just try the math off to the side. If we take 15.2 and uh, let's go equals, equals 15.2, and multiply it by 30, it does come up to the same number. So I'm just testing that just to make sure that that makes sense. Um, so it looks like that's uh, what we've accomplished. We can uh, beautify this a little bit more, but I think it looks good at this stage. So hopefully you've uh, been able to accomplish this on your own, and aloha.